While joining us on the show at this stage is the chairman of Creative Championship in the country and has been um, a part of so many development of football sides, you know, club-wise in Nigeria. Mr. Atiba, it's nice to have you on the program Sports Desk. Good to be here, Mr. Mayen. Thank well, you for having me. For our viewers and those who don't know, um, tell us about this Creative Championship and the teams, you know, participating in the third edition. What has it been like from the first and the second editions? Well, the Creative Championship, like uh, it was mentioned in the report there, is a grassroots initiative. And it's also an initiative that is looking at sustainability in football, profitability in football. And, uh, you know, if you look at Nigerian football today, the most profitable sides are the privately owned clubs. A lot of the government owned clubs are not turning in any profit, irrespective of how long they've been in existence. It's only the privately uh, led club sides in Nigeria who make profit. And we thought, you know, with the advent of us not playing regularly in the last two or three seasons because of COVID and, and its attendant, you know, uh, repercussions, we felt there was a need for us because it's like Toby, uh, Toby Amuson said where in our interview, it's not good for people to just train and train and train and not have competitive football. So we felt, why don't we come together and do things in a different way? Because the Englishman says only a madman will do the same thing over and over mm -hmm. again and expect a different result. And so we try to think out of the box and bring ourselves together and follow through with the initi initiative. And what we have now is the Creative Championship. Well, let's um, take a look at um, you know, um, your track record you know, at this stage. A lot of people will be saying, oh, we is Atiba. And um, um, for journalists, for reporters you know, who have um, worked with Atiba over the years, or who have known him, um, we'll talk about the era of FC Biede when you had the likes of Issa Ali Iliaku. You know, I, would, I wouldn't forget the Primavera squad of International in Milano, yes. where they had two Nigerians, mm -hmm. Omo. Or Bafemi Martins yeah, and yeah. Issa Eliaku. Yeah, yeah. But then <laughs> Martins, you know, sometimes I, I just wonder how come Eliaku never made it as much as we had the Martins, despite the influence he had in the Primavera squad of Inter Milan. What was it like for you, you know, with FC BAB, wow. working with these players and them, um, you know? Thank you. Today, thank you. Uh, like it, 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 was, it was good. It was an eye opener for me. And I must say, I must give huge kudos to my mentor, uh, Barrister Churchill Olise. You know, he was the one that actually, because, you know, it, and funny enough, I, I wanted to play. I wanted to be a football player. But he saw something, and he said, young man, it will be good for you to go into administration. And I, I resisted all the way. But thankfully, thankfully, you know, you, you listen to your elders, and you, 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 you have an introspective thought, and you come to the right decision. Thank God I got that decision. Let, 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 let me ask this. Um, what involvement did you have with Taiwa Wuni and all that? Oh, well, again, uh, I cannot claim all the glory for that. Mm. Because Taiwa Wuni started from somewhere okay. before mm. he came to us. And we must give kudos, kudos to every one of the coaches who's worked with him yeah. uh, from the time he started playing and up until the time he got to us. We were just like the finishing school. And mm. we polished him up. We did what the right things were. And today... Tawa Oni, with his hard work. In 30 well seconds, there. time is gone. Um, in, in 15 seconds, what's the future of the Creative League? You know, with the array of stars we've mentioned. The future of the Creative Championship is tied intrinsically with the future of Nigerian football. Well, I must say very big thank you, Mr. Atiba, for being a part of the show. He's the chairman, Creative Championship in the country. Ten teams from Lagos and Ogun States participating. You can watch their matches at the Deep Dino Stadium in Jebu Ode, the Legacy Pitch. And um, it's been a pleasure having you thank on you. the show. Well, I must say very big thank you also.